That may have the power, but can it shove the weight of the 4,000 pound taxi too? And can this double act max out at 40 miles an hour? You ready? Ready. Let's do it. All right, putting it into neutral. Parking brake off. In three, two, one, go! Amazingly, just like the movie, the sports car takes the taxi for a ride. But there's a slight problem. I've got no steering! Miles an hour. I've got no steering! Brakes, 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 no steering! Brakes, brakes, brakes! We only got brakes! <laughs> we went off course pretty fast. <laughs> off course is an understatement. The tandem cars only narrowly missed the fence. <laughs> so we got up to speed, and I guess you could call this a straight line. Man, that was scary. The problem is that the turning axes that control the steering on our tandem car are actually in the middle. And what used to be the rear wheels are at the front, which means you have very little control over where you're going. And of course, with the sports sedan pushing double the load, the brakes have to work twice as hard, and you need twice the space to come to a stop. Who knows what's going to happen when we try to do this in reverse? All right, 40 miles an hour in reverse in three, two, one, go! Once again, steering the four-ton monstrosity is almost impossible. 30 miles an hour! Oh, no! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Well, Woo. that's 40. But the twin cars pull off the reverse. Right now, it's looking very good for the myth. With connected cars, you can drive forwards and backwards yeah. at high speeds. You don't have much control, but it is possible. Oh. Driving in a straight line may be confirmed, but there's still plenty of double driving. Start turning now. And dating to come. <laughs>